NSK, NLZ, and NLZE, Introduction and Unboxing. The NSK NLZ NLZE electric micromotor system converts air driven handpieces to electric with LED light and is used for restorative, prophylaxis, and endo procedures. The NLZ micromotor system comes in two different models NLZ for general restorative, NLZE for general restorative applications plus endo rotary and endo wave one reciprocal. Inside the box, you'll find the following The control unit also known as the touch panel. The main unit, also known as the module, which is connected to the touch panel via the link cable. Motor, motor cord, AC adapter, AC power cord, mounting bracket. This bracket is used to mount the module on the delivery unit. Mounting screws, nuts, zip ties, and the operation manual. Installation. The first step is to mount the bracket for the touch panel. Optional brackets, stay and plate, allow you to install the touch panel on a variety of delivery units in a location where the panel is clearly visible and there is easy access to the buttons during procedures. To see a library of different installations, visit nsktech-us.com. For this installation, we'll be using NLZ Stay. Attach the plate to the pipe using the nut. Use the longer screws to secure the plate under the tray. Attach the block to the back of the touch panel using two set screws. Screw in the post into the block. Now, insert the post in the pipe and fix the touch panel using the lever. Next, mount the module in a secure location that is close to the handpiece hangers. The ideal location is under the tray. Most delivery units have preset drilled holes to mount the module bracket using this screw. Pro tip. When selecting your mounting location, be mindful of swinging arms and pivoting pieces of the delivery unit to make sure you have plenty of clearance. The module itself is mounted on the bracket using the two flathead screws. Next, pick a functional tubing from the unit as the input for the motor. Run a quick test to make sure water and air are flowing properly by pressing the rheostat. Connect and secure the nut into the end port of the module. Connect the motor cord into the out port by aligning the pins and tighten the nut. Be sure to tighten the nut completely. Connect the motor to the other end of the cord by carefully lining up the pins. Place the motor on the vacant hanger. Now, for the power, run the long black cord of the transformer all the way from the power outlet, which should be in the junction box, to a point near the module. Use zip ties to secure the cord around the arms and moving frame of the delivery unit. Insert the power cord plug into the connector at the back of the module. Insert the AC cord into the transformer and plug it into the outlet. Turn on the main switch. Power on the touch panel by pressing the power button. The program number one will show up on the screen. Remove the motor from the hanger. Press the rheostat. Wait for 10 to 15 seconds to make sure water runs through the motor, the light turns on, and the motor hits the max speed, 200,000 RPM. Now, take the Z95L high-speed attachment out of the box. Note, we will explain the use of the E-type nozzle adapter in the maintenance section. Connect the attachment to the motor. Insert it until you hear a click. Then twist until you hear another click to lock in place. Markings on the motor and the attachment should line up. With the water on, press the rheostat. The light should come on and you should see a water mist coming out of the spray holes of the attachment. You can make adjustments on water and coolant air of the delivery unit to create a good water spray. Operation. Let's review the buttons on the touch panel and set up a few sample programs. For this demonstration, programs one, two, and three will use a high-speed attachment, red ring one to five. Out of the box, program number one is preset at one to five gear ratio, 200,000 RPM. This setting is ideal for everyday heavy duty cutting with a high speed attachment. Press the memory button to jump to program number two. We're still using the high speed attachment. Let's set the gear ratio to one to five. Now, dial down the speed to 100,000 RPM. Press and hold the memory button until you hear a beep. Now, the setting is stored as program number two. This setting is used for margin prep using a high-speed attachment. 
Press the memory button to jump to program number three. Set the gear ratio to one to five. Dial down the speed to 40,000 RPM. Press and hold the memory button until you hear a beep. Now the setting is stored as program number three. This setting is suitable for polishing and finishing the surface of composite. Now, let's work with a slow speed attachment using a blue ring one-to-one -one for latch burrs. Press the memory button to jump to program number four. Set the gear ratio to one-to-one -to -one this time. Change the speed to 10,000 RPM. Press and hold the memory button until you hear a beep. Now the setting is stored as program number four. This setting is for cavity preps. Keep in mind, these settings are just examples. NLZ is fully customizable to your own preferences and recommendations by your burr manufacturer. Press the memory button to jump to program number five. Set the gear ratio to one to one this time. Change the speed to 8,000 RPM. Press and hold the memory button until you hear a beep. The setting is stored as program number five. Press the memory button to jump to number six. For the last one, again, set the gear ratio to one to one. Change the speed to 6,000 RPM this time. Press and hold the memory button until you hear a beep. The setting is stored as program number six. To recap, you can set up to six programs for restorative, and anytime you change and store a new program, it will replace the old settings. This is similar to setting a radio station in a car. Now, let's talk about endo settings. The NLZE has two endo modes in addition to the restorative mode. To change between restorative and endo modes, we use the mode button on the top right corner of the touch panel. Endo rotary, wave one, and back to restorative. To go to the second mode, endo rotary, press the mode button once. First, remove the slow speed attachment by simply pulling it out from the motor. You do not need to twist it. Then, insert NLZ endo attachment by pushing it in. You do not need to twist since there is no locking mechanism. Turn off the water on the rheostat. Note, choose a speed and torque recommended by the file manufacturer based on the model and number of the file. For this demonstration, we'll set up three sample programs. Press the memory button to go to program number one. The screen displays program number one. Change the gear ratio to six to one. Dial the speed to 300 RPM. Dial the torque to 1.8 Newton centimeters. Press and hold the memory button until you hear a beep. Now the setting is stored as program number one. Press the memory button to jump to program number two. Change the gear ratio to six to one. Dial the speed to 300 RPM. Dial the torque to 1.2 Newton centimeters. Press and hold the memory button until you hear a beep. Now the setting is stored as program number two. Press the memory button to jump to program number three. Change the gear ratio to six to one. Dial the speed to 300 RPM. Dial the torque to 1.0 Newton centimeters. Press and hold the memory button until you hear a beep. Now the setting is stored as program number three. It's important to pay attention to the auto reverse button. Simply press the button to change between the three settings. Auto stop, auto reverse stop, auto reverse forward. Auto stop means the file rotates down the canal and stops when the resistance reaches the preset torque value. Auto reverse stop means the file rotates down the canal and stops when the resistance reaches the preset torque value and then reverses to release the file from that pressure. This is the setting that is recommended under most conditions. Auto reverse forward means the file rotates down the canal and stops when the resistance reaches the preset torque value and reverses to release the file from that pressure and repeats the process by rotating down again a second time. This is also called the complete auto reverse mode and is normally used at early stages of the prep. Let's now move on to the third mode, endo reciprocal. This mode is set for wave one reciprocal and is plug and play. That means the speed and the shape of the unequal reciprocal movement is precisely preset for dense ply wave one gold files. So you don't need to make any adjustments. It's ready to go. All you have to do is pick this mode. With the endo attachment mounted on the motor and the water turned off, press the rheostat for operation. Let's do a quick overview of the other buttons on the touch panel. Volume. This adjusts the level of beep sounds of the error messages. Light. This adjusts the intensity of the light. 
reverse. In the unlikely event a burr is stuck in the tooth or bone, choose reverse direction to reverse the motor and free the burr. Check. This runs a quick status check on the attachment to see if service is necessary. Power off. Press the power button and hold for a few seconds to turn off the touch panel. Demo mode. NLZ can be operated without an air connection for demonstration purposes. Here's how we set up NLZ in demo mode. Turn on the module. Hold down the speed plus and minus buttons and then press and hold the power button on the touch panel for two seconds. After a short beep, DE will be displayed on the screen for two seconds. Within these two seconds, while the DE is on the screen, press the mode button. Demo will start blinking on the screen to indicate you've successfully entered demo mode. In demo mode, the reverse button works as the on-off switch for the motor. To end demo mode, press and hold the power button. How to override the initial safety functions. Turn on the module, then turn on the touch panel. Press and hold the mode button until you see 1-AIR-L. Press the speed plus button several times until you see 7-SAFE. Press the torque setting button two times to reduce the value to zero. Press the mode button once and you will hear two short beeps. Press and hold the mode button to go back to the main screen. Two-way water spray adjustment. With Z95L SW and Z45L attachments, it's easy to switch between water spray and water jet at the flip of a switch. Turn the switching valve with the wrench included in the handpiece box. Align the white mark and the dot to set the water spray shape. Align the black mark and the dot to set the water jet shape. Maintenance of the motor and the attachments. Remove the burr. Disconnect by gently pulling the attachment out of the motor. Clean the external surface of the attachment with a soft toothbrush using soap and water, or use a cleaning wipe or alcohol. Then, clean around and inside the burr insertion hole using an interdental brush. Manual lubrication process. Insert the spear-shaped nozzle. Shake the oil can for three to four seconds, keeping it in an upright position. Spray lubricant into the burr insertion hole for a couple of seconds. Next, insert the E-type nozzle adapter to the back of the attachment. Cover the head of the attachment with a paper towel and spray the oil into the attachment while holding the can in an upright position. Make sure the oil flushes the debris out of the attachment and clear oil comes out of the head. This should take a couple of seconds. If you notice black debris on the paper towel, repeat the process until the oil is completely clear with no debris. The attachment is now ready to be autoclaved using the FDA-approved pouch. For automatic lubrication process, refer to eye care video. If you have any further questions, please visit our support site, nsktech-us.com.